All right, we got disc golf. We got the back nine. I did the front nine. Check out the link in the description for the front nine if you haven't watched that. But it's some pretty boring stuff out here, but they got nice camera angles. Same camera angle. This, like, uh, yeah. So he's doing the same thing. Um, yeah, they're still playing the same tournament. These guys are the chase. I learned they're the chasers. Chase card. So they're not winning. They're pretty much out of this, but they're just playing for, what are they? Oh, third place, third place, fifth and eighth. Okay, so they might be in there. I don't know. Let's see the whole standings though. Here's the, yeah, nope. They're, <laughs> they're not gonna, looks like a one horse race. It used to be a two, kind of a two horse race, but yeah, I don't know. If the top guy really, really fucks the dog, then he's gonna lose, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Here we go, hole number one. 10, I mean, wow, look at this. So you're going through the woods. Do I have the right quality on this? Let's see here. Let's get some, let's get qual. I'm on auto, let's, let's, let's go to HD. Let's try this. Here we go, hopefully I don't have buffering problems. There we go, yep. We got this guy so quiet back here. All right, that's a good looking sling right there. That should be up there. Yeah. This guy, I've noticed he says things. He's very, like, kind of um, negative to himself. Watch out for the GoPro right in front of the, the guy there, right there. I'd be like, why are you putting that there? That's in my, that's in my step through. See, and it screwed him up. It did. He was worried about the stupid GoPro in the way. You know what I'd do? If I saw that camera there, I would like throw my normal shot and then I kind of like step through and like accidentally run it, run it over, maybe step on it just cause you know, get it out of there. We're playing a game. I don't want your stupid contraptions in front of us. I think it's screwed with that guy too. No, oh, looks, looks pretty good. Wow. Just as the airplane goes up. All right. So now that's, I learned last time this guy's shirt is uh, it looks like, I think that's crawfish, and then, oh boy, get it in focus, guys. All right, here we go. Focus on the shirt. Here we go. All right. Ooh. No, that's not lucky. That's terrible. All right. So, yeah. Stinking it up. This guy's kicking, kicking stuff. He's got to kick things. He's imagining the disc to travel to the right. Let's see if that happens. Um, it did, yeah. I think that's pretty good. Oh, some people are having a good time. Wow, must have been a good shot. These guys are like, wish I was at the party, but this is the boring part because we're on chase card. So, I mean, they're just lucky to be on camera, I guess. That's a pretty nice shot right there. Uphill, looking good. I'd say probability of this guy making this is 20%. Let's see if I'm right. 20% he makes this. Stay up, stay up. Oh my God, he made it. And he almost dislocated his knee. Look at this. What has gotten into Angry Boy? Maybe he's not so angry. Look at that, he got a nice little, oh, it just made it over the nubs. That is nice. Good job, Angry Fist Pump. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start my new uh, pair. Oh, that sucked. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. That guy's funny when he's mad. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's the kid putting it in there. I think we got a bunch of, we got one birdie. Ham's got a birdie. So we're, yeah, just move on. Try to do better next hole, guys. Try to do better. So this one looks pretty easy. It's just kind of straight down there. I don't know. Downhill, not that far. Don't have to throw it that hard. I don't know, there's some gaps in there. Something like that. Hit here for charity. I don't want to hit there because it's gonna, it's gonna roll down the hill, but maybe like, Win money for ch for charity, so you don't get the money. This goes to this goes to some other a hole yeah. and his nonprofit. 
I don't know. Nonprofits seem to be pretty profitable from what I hear. All right. Now we got uh, kind of a beginnings of a mullet. Oh, God. That was there. really bad. That was that was terrible. <laughs> but they love it. The crowd doesn't still doesn't know what's really going on. They've heard about disc golf on YouTube, and they said, let's check it out. And they don't really know no. what you're supposed to do. That, you're definitely not supposed to do that. That was bad. All right. Now this guy. Yeah, he's got the the shades. The he's got got very interesting eyes. Is is that disc golfing eyes? He he's eyeing the target. That's eyeing the tree. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it. That's just frustrations. Sometimes you want to, you know, you're out there playing disc golf. You're trying your hardest, and you want to take all your discs and cut them in half. It'd just be satisfying to just take a, like a really sharp knife and just, just slice it, or maybe like a machete. Oh, now he's moving shit. So I guess that was an out of bounds or something like that. I don't know, but I think he should be able to move shit like that. That's fine. Come on, angry boy. Ooh, wow, that's such a good shot. Wow. He's got some shots now. These guys, they're showing a little bit of promise here. They're showing that they can be creative and that they can they can get the disc to do what they want it to do. That was pretty cool. Kind of a Frisbee-looking shot there. I like it. They're, you know, it's, yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, man, just struggles. Struggles. He didn't get up and down. That's probably his tournament over. It's tied for fifth. He's out of it. You know, that's like in the, the <laughs> you know, when they have the leaderboards and they have all the name cards and then they just throw, after that missed putt, they just throw the name card on the ground. And the next, next thing you, you see is is uh, Conrad choking his caddy. <laughs> that's a good up and down for, for Angry Boy. There you go. All right. He's calming it down. He's looking looking more composed. That's good. All right. Um, this guy's going to putt. A lot of people moving around. Checking it out. Um, see, you can see if you know anybody in the crowd on that shot. So rewind that, and your friend might go, you know, that was me, man. Okay, I'll check it out, man. All right. Hole number 12. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie. All right, here we go. Hole 12. Oh, Slinger. Oh, that looks bad, though. Oh, man. Or is that perfect? See, this is a goofy course. Yeah, they got to really wind them, huh? That's really got to wind it right, I guess. Well, it's disc crazy. Look at that, right beside disc crazy. So when they said disc crazy, did they did they mean like disc crazy? <laughs> like they're an idiot? <laughs> disc crazy. Wow, almost the same look. Very similar styles. Lots of cheers for that one. Perfect. The crowd's liking this. I think they're getting it. These are like, this is the deep inside crowd where you really, wow, look at that thing. Just keep drifting. Oh, no. They like it, but he's a long ways away. Par four, huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to the sidearm. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> It's, why did he do that off the tee? See, ugh, yuck. That was awful. <laughs> All right. That needs to get left. No, it needed to go straight. Get it up the hill. Let's see what this thing does. Oh, it missed the trees. 
Oh, well, little fluff. Maybe you got a fluffer on that because that shot was rock hard. Awesome on the pin. All right. Just aiming it up, getting it ready, getting the slinger. Looking pretty good. He's got the black hat, black shorts combo. Looks good. Could throw any kind of different colored shirt with that. But uh, yeah, hit, hit the hit the tree, Jim. See, look at this. This is second sidearm flinger from this guy on this hole. He, oh God. You hit the ground. The disc was rolling on the ground, and then it, it hit the ground. So part of the ground is hard, and that's called roots because there's trees. And he should know that because I think he's part tree. That's awesome. That is just the worst break. But, you know, is that even out of bounds? They make that out of bounds? No, he's just marking it for him where it is. Hopefully. So it's been a bad hole for, for old Conrad on this one. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. I guess, yeah, the <laughs> every shot needs to be, like, he needs to be falling some direction. He always is falling some direction. And I said this on the last one. The more weird and fruity shit that you do on the disc golf course, it seems like the better it goes for you. So let's see if that happens. That's kind of cool. It's a good angle on the camera. Good camera angle, guys. He looks really close. And he made it. Yep. That's right. Okay. There's a girl in the background. She looks cold. She looks very cold. All right. Little, little, uh, clapping on the do that you know you don't really want to clap but you want to you want to give someone someone because i guess she might be rooting for a different guy probably that's dejected he's sad so we got angry boy but i think we got Ma matthew orham i think he's he's sad boy oh fd harp hand it's one of those sausage sacks zuka i got that one that's mine i have that one junk my name's garrett girthy people may know me as double g and i've been making i don't g know you jerky since i was 16 years old and while wakona and i are driving don't have time to stop and eat no nope. so i always have her grab me a small bag of double g jerky you got just, smash crack pepper on just Tuesday small bag wednesday you got the garlic late in the round you know hole 14 you might need a little pick me up yeah pull out some double g jerky that's what i say grab the big bag because you're gonna have to share you can find double g crack ah, jerky Macbeth. at double g jerky.com good guy yep some people say he's boring. I think he's he's uh, he's a good dude. He is his own guy. This is that. This reminds me of that one hole that that they had on the on the on the front nine, where they had that ugly astroturf. So let's see if this is kind of the same. But I don't know if it is. He's throwing a backhand. Oh yeah, you got to get through this gap. Wow. Give me a big skip this time, please. No, not if it hits the cameraman. It's not. Get the hell out of the way. God. I saw one of those cameramen getting hit, you know, like people get hit by discs compilation. And I was like, good. Good for you. Pay attention. It's, it's a 175-gram it's a piece of plastic that's being thrown through the air. You know, they can't even throw that he you have discs in Japan. They can't do it. They have to, they have to use lighter weights because I think they think anything over like it's either 150 or 160 grams is considered a weapon. Little little tip for you. That's why a big reason why they came out with those blizzard plastic discs, things like that to make them lighter so people could compete at the Japan Open. Yeah, I mean that did. That's really good. There's some ugly AstroTurf down there. They love that at this park. I saw it in the back. Form check. Long legs. Get him moving. Nice step. I mean, he keeps it all pretty flat, you know? The disc is flat. That was one of his better throws all day, so that was good. He didn't look like he was going to dislocate anything. It looked pretty smooth. See, like, this guy, that he that's a little bit overcooked, I think. Yep. Oh, what a kick. 
He'll make that. This kid's been slinging this white disc a lot, sidearm. I think it's the same disc. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, and that's out of bounds. Oh, crap. That's the worst. Ooh. Well, he didn't go out of bounds. No, back to angry boy. He's very angry. All right. Confused in the back. I know red shirt's confused a little bit. Oh, that's right at the tree. Oh, look at that. Go in. Well, come on. <laughs> that wasn't that bad, but okay. I mean, it was bad, but it could have been great. Yep. That's pretty good. Just lay it up. He needs this for the par, I think, because he went OB. That's a good way to do it, kid. No gatekeeper we run. We'll just do the slow walk in. Kind of fast. Yeah. There you go. That's one thing I noticed in disc golf, too. It's like when they do the walk-ins, you know, they really... Some guys do them pretty fast. I think the slow one is more cocky and, and probably better. You know, when I'm out playing... Whoa, he almost foot faulted. God, that is great. You see, he kept his balance because you can't fall forward. Yeah, one thing I do in disc golf is uh, if I make a long putt, it's like it's, if it's over, like, f probably 50 feet and... Other guys are playing. I just leave it in there. I'm like, you know what? I'll celebrate. And I'll, uh, I'll point at everybody, and I'll be like, hey, I did it. God, that's loud. We're going to watch him. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to watch Hamas uh, wipe off his disc, I guess. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, oh, this is looking like we're getting... This looks like a cool hole. I like this. I like this a lot. I want to play this hole. All right, it's 14. He's got the sidearm. He's got the crab boy. He's like, you know what, man? I'm on a birdie. Let's go. Something like that. He's holding it. He's... Oh, it's right at the tree. Ah. <sighs> Frustration, it's coming out, you know. Disc golf is really kind of, you know, at the highest level. It, it is kind of a, a uh, frustrating game. That was a nice sling. Ooh, that wasn't a nice sling. Oh. You know what? Maybe he'll be behind that tree and he can try one of his patented uh, sidearm roly roller things. <laughs> He's already done a couple of them. I don't know. We'll have to see. He's doing sidearm off the tee. Looks determined. That looks really nice, actually. That's not hitting any trees. Holy snikey, he's gonna roll down the hill. That's what he wants to do. He's like, I gotta do that, I gotta do that. That's pretty good. First down. And it did. Oh, that's the best. It's rolling down the hill. Oh, my goodness gracious. He's got to look for eagle from about, I don't know, 80 feet. But yeah, let's do a form check. Perfect sidearm by the kid. Step left. Little step right. Oh, not even a shuffle. Just kind of a kind of a little timing step. Not really like a crow hop. Just kind of a little doom doom. And then release. He's got good form. His arm's straight. Kids, look at the kid, all right? Watch the kid. He, kid can throw. Ooh. Wow, look at that thing. Oh. Wow, that was kind of neat, actually. I don't know what I would have done. Not that. I couldn't. I can't throw it that far. Uh, is that good? I mean, that's the best looking one that he's thrown, for sure. That one actually, like kind of flew straight and like you know kind of went in the air for a while so that's something to build off of old JC is that going in oh wow see that's what sucks about disc golf too it's like the ones you think are going to go in it's like now it's not that close see that was Textbook.
textbook execution. This is for an eagle. Can he make this? Come on, do it. Make it. Get it there. I only hit the bucket. It's pretty good. There'd be a bonus. But, you know, get the birdie, right? Get the birdie. Easy birdie. Oh. Oh, wow. He hit the bucket. Hmm. I think that's ugly, by the way. I don't think that's dumb. It's a way to put advertising on it. I get it. I get it. This golf's going to have more advertisement. That's a great putt. Almost had the eagle, but got the birdie. That was good. Got to say, I like the flowered shirt. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of the Hawaiian style prints. I like crab. I like lobster boil shirt too. That's pretty good. Lobster, crayfish, whatever. I heard they're just mini crayfish. So yeah, ho hum, pretty boring. All right, next hole. All right. Hit that guy. Get out of the way. All right. Next one. Here we go. Claps around. Somebody's winning. These guys aren't winning. No. Nope. But that's a winning shot. It's going to hit the camera guy. Hit him. Hit him right in the balls. Actually, he's got a ball protector that's a little bit high, actually. So I'd say camera guy, yeah. Make sure you got your balls covered, you know. That'd be a good thing. What do you make being a camera guy doing this? I don't know. No. Post in the comments what guys make. I'm just curious. That's a good job to have. I don't know. Or are they just fanboys? They're like, oh, man, I just love being close to the pros. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows? Leave leave something in the comments. Ooh, that was yeah, not good. It's like he slipped. Yeah, I don't know if he needs better shoes. Could probably have better grips on his shoes, maybe. He looks like he's wearing bowling shoes which have the worst grip out of any shoes that you can get because they're made to slide. Not being out here in the terrain. See, Orem looks like he's got some good shoes on. This guy right here, yeah. They look more like uh, like actual like hiking shoes, you know what I mean? It's like, you ever play, you ever go disc golf with a guy and he's like, he's just got flip-flops on. I'm like, you're an asshole. You know, everybody thinks that. And then, you know, it, it sucks. You can't do it. I once met this girl that could throw about 120 feet. She'd go to the course all the time, and, and she'd see me out there, and, and then she'd always want smokes or weed from me, and uh, I didn't usually have any. And, uh, <laughs> and, and she told me that she disc golfed better on, w when she was barefoot, and um, she also said that she was going to be on the pro tour, but I haven't seen her yet, so whatever. <laughs> There's a fun fun story about people that like to lie about things. All right. Um, yeah, because these guys aren't liars. I mean, these guys are in this tournament and they're losing, but they're you know they're being they're on camera, man. I mean, like they're they're performing for for a big audience. I mean, and and you know I just need to see better. I need to see better attempts at disc golf. I need to see more made putts. I want to see some. I want to see some hole in ones. Can we can we get some action? You know that sucked. Yeah, just hit the stump. Just do it. Just dislocate your entire arm by punching something. There we go. All right. Oh, let's see. Look at that. That's the kind of stuff that I'm gonna pay for to see. That's that's what I want. You know, f for the future of our sport. I want to either see like more birdies and stuff, or I want to see these courses even harder. See, now that was right there. That was rude. Let's let's go, let's go back to Angry Boy and his bad sportsmanship here. Watch this. Makes the putt, and then he picks up the disc, and then does that little thing right there. You know, that's really uncalled for, and that makes everybody nervous. And guess what? All the chains are fucked up for the next guy. You know, really bad sportsmanship by uh, by Angry Boy. But you know. What did you expect? All right, on to the next hole. 
Yeah, I don't really like. See, he's like, hey, he's he's, he's stretching out his his back on on that one. Gotta throw your disc golf warehouse. Oh man, look at that! Discs, bags, baskets, carts, shirts, and more. Holy crap! GotaGoGottaThrow.com has all the tools to take your game to the next level. Yes. Shop online or a Golden Valley, Minnesota store. Free shipping with all online orders oh, man. over $75. Guy looked like he worked at a brewery. Get what you need for the that game girl didn't love. throw that drive. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, all right. There's a girl practicing or something. Um, and then... Uh, I got to say, though, that some, some of the women players can really sling them. I got to say can really get into a drive. Here's more of that ugly AstroTurf. Awesome. And I know someone will put in the comments like, oh, it's because, you know, it does. It's like, I don't care. It's ugly as shit. It doesn't look good. Here we go. I mean, what does that stuff do when it gets? Oh, that'll get left. He's fine. It's a pretty good slang there by the kid. Get a few claps. This guy's going to try to get it all the way there. He's got the shades down. A little bit of 5 o'clock. No, that's kind of a beard growing in there. Kind of, he likes that. He keeps it that, that length, probably. That's a slinger. Pretty high. But I don't know. I don't know where they want to be on this hole. That's probably good. It's pretty wide open. Okay, this this guy's gonna totally tear out his knee. Here we go. Ooh. That's a sling. That's that's the nicest looking one out of them. Get out of the way, idiot! All right. God. That would make me so mad if it hit hit if it hit the cameraman right in his fat gut. God. See, that's sarcasm. He's still he's still mad. Still mad from the last hole, and he almost threw it out of bounds. But he didn't. So, you know, that's what I want to do with, with these videos, too, is, uh, you know, let's, let's have things that people can learn, like life lessons, you know, moments in time. See, that's a good shot. He put all of his anger into that one. I know that. That thing is flying. Wow. That's up there. He did. So sometimes anger can be positive. You just got to know how to kind of channel it because you can't just get rid of it. You just have to work on it. Lighting it out at the right times. That one looks awesome. Maybe too far left. I don't know. I mean, there's so many guys down here. Why does there need to be like that many guys? There's three guys standing there. What are they doing? Nothing. They're BSing, smoking weed. It's like, or or eating edibles, whatever. It just doesn't stink like weed does. Oh, wow, look at that shot. That was amazing, kid. Girl in the background's like, nah, big deal. That's some good, good right there, good vibes. Ooh, look at that thing. Is that going to do it? Is that going to do it? Oh, wow. He almost made it. Holy shit. Oh. That's the most real crowd reaction I've heard. Like, it's like the people on this hole actually know kind of what's going on. Like, that this is a game. Oh, look at that. Like, this is a game where they're actually trying to throw it, you know, into the, into the chain thingy with the with the cage on the bottom, it's open. It's like a a really bad colander. You know, what could you strain with that if you had something, you're cooking something. Come on. Oh. oh, man. He's close enough. The land that time forgot. All right. They got a new basket. Maybe they need new AstroTurf. I don't know. It's really hokey all right and then yeah <laughs> now yeah, nice that's a nice uh, eagle huh is that an eagle wow 
See, that's the that's the content I want to see out of these boys. No. Oh, that's that's another angry move. What's a little less oh see, he's oh he's rubbing it. Move to that's the face of <laughs> I am gonna <laughs> Yeah, so we're we're there. I mean I'm even like kinda nerved up watching Angry Boy like you know, I guess Klein's staying away from Angry Boy. That's what he's doing. That is that good? Oh my goodness, no. Nope. That's in the water. Yeah. This one looks really hard. Like a mini golf hole. See, I think they're trying to play no, it's not. So I think the kid was trying to play it where you go just a little bit more right. So then, you know, you're, you're inbounds, but you still don't have that much of a putt. It's just like maybe a 20 footer, 25 footer, something like that. He's going for, oh, wow. Let's see. That's good. That's the real play. If that's out of bounds, I'm going to kick that guy in the nuts. See, he's moved to, he is angry. His cheeks are red. He is just angry yep it's, 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 come on now stroke your sausage a little bit that's good all right all right there we go that's I mean I think that's the play I think that he's a oh safe he is safe he's gonna have a tricky putt but he is safe I think he lays this out Well, it was kind of a, it was kind of a layup -y, try to go forward e kind of putt. Good thing he didn't roll out of bounds. Well, that's a nice camera angle. You screwed it up. You're framed up so good on the camera, and then you just. Uh, all right, try harder next year. It'll be fine. Oh shit! He got razzed by the crowd. And he was worried about it. Oh my God! Let's see that one again. I love this is, this is unfortunate, but watch it. Yep. Total mind meltdown. That's when it's just your mind is melted. Whoa! Good catch. That was pretty good. Get your wet disc out of there. Okay, all right. He's still, yep, still trying to breathe. Okay, just breathe. He's got fans. Yeah, he's letting them down, but that happens. Seems like a good dude. All these, like I said, all these guys seem like good dudes. They're just, it's kind of dorky. It's heated competition, man. This is like near the top. You know, they got sponsorships, they got their own lines of discs. Um, there's a lot of pressure on this, and I forget about that just sitting at home, you know, sitting in my chair here and looking at my computer screen. But hey, it is what it is. So we got, we're on to 18. Can any of these guys get in there? Um, what is it? Okay, it's sixth, 10th, third, and six. So KK, he's, he's in there for third. I don't know if he's gonna get second, but. Wow, people are really in. See, they're, these guys are like the guys that are at the party, you know what I mean? And then everybody just decides to kind of go outside and then do something fun, and they're all having fun, and then you're just stuck, in, stuck inside talking to these other two weirdos, you know, looking at the, looking at the, the freaking wieners that are in the, uh, in the bowl, you know, like, like the, the cocktail wieners in the sauce. That's what you're looking at. And just poking a toothpick into it, and like, yeah. And then the outside, everyone's like, ha, ah, ha, yeah, you know, woo, you know, everybody's having a great time. And you're just inside with these three other losers, and that's what it is. That's bad. Uh, wow, what a lucky kick. So that's how this feels. He's like, come on, one more hole. Yeah, you're sixth place. He didn't win. That's a pretty looking shot. 
Yeah, that's that's high level stuff right there. I mean, you know these guys got it in them, but you know it's all about intestinal fortitude. Ooh. No, no, no. Oh, they might. Oh, there's only one guy in a red shirt over there, and not like six of them, like the other hole. God. And that's the thing too. Why they make make the the spotter guys have the the brightest damn shirt in the world? Why not give them something darker colored or more like forest colored so they kind of blend in and they don't look like some weirdo hanging out yeah, in, the, right. in the bushes, creeping around. You know, gatekeeper media guys. I like that they they got the purple. That's a pretty pretty nice color. The purple it doesn't stick out too much. They're wearing black pants. You know. Not trying to look too weird, but then you got these spotter guys. I don't know. LWS Open. You guys got to fix some shit. Make it a better event. Not as annoying and boring. But, hey, the Froze will be back next year as long as the money's there. <laughs> look at that. Is that going to make it around? Did it do it? I don't know. It didn't do it. Come on, kid. That's got to get right. Is that going to do it? Oh, it's stabling up. Oh, I mean, that's pretty good. It's close. Might have a tough putt underneath the whatever kind of trees those are. Some sort of evergreens. Oh, skipping in. Oh, my God. That was awesome. See, this kid can really, he can really sling it when he needs to. He just needs to kind of get, I don't know, get his head on straight. Maybe needs a caddy. By the way, I will always offer advice for disc golfers if they want it. Like that putt would have went in if he would have made it. That's good advice. No, that one was. See, he's no. Nah, uh, it's it's getting close to the end, and you really just want it to be over. You really want it to be over, but you still have to do the thing. Oh my God. Oh no. Is that going to knock him out of third place? Uh, they're, they're clapping for him. That was nice. So the people are nice. A lot of Matty O fans. But it's kind of bittersweet looking at the old chase card because the lead card, guys, that's where it is. But hey, we're all done. Couple looks. Hey, there's some sportsmanship right there. Like to see that. There we go. That's nice. Angry boy getting, you know, turning around, still being cool. That's awesome. I like to see that. So what do we learn? That's, he's still deep in thought. <laughs> um, that uh, Isaac Robinson won, um, and then we got uh, Dickerson Klein. So, wow, that was fast. Can we just, re can we, you know, they, they make it go too quick. Let's just, let's go right here. Let's, so we got, yeah. Isaac Robinson won at 33 under. Chris Dickerson at 29 under. Kyle Klein, 23 under. So KK, he did that, yeah. I know who Clemens is. Gannon Burr, that's, I, I think that's a kid. Paul Macbeth, who I've heard of him. You know him. Alden Harris. There's Matt Orham. He got, okay, he got sixth. So, Wow, Paul Macbeth shot 13 under. That's crazy. Wow. Um, hey, big germ, Jeremy Coling. He's in there. I. That's awesome. All right, he's one of my favorite guys. So there you go. What did we learn? These guys weren't the top, but guess what? They were trying, and that's what happens. And they were playing disc golf in beautiful weather. So, uh, yeah. Slinging the sidearms, angry boy. This is Mitzel Nation. Hey, you guys have a good day. And uh, keep on, uh, <laughs> just like Brody Smith says, keep on slinging them frisbees. All right. I'll see you guys uh, next time. Mitzel Nation, out.